there, sir. How are you doing? Are you a BCA member by any chance? Yeah, indeed. Today we want to say a big thank you to our members with a free tank of gas. Excellent. Are you serious? We are. Wow. BCA members have earned over 20 million CA dollars at Husky. Now with this new program, they can earn up to one cent per liter back on fuel purchases and up to 3% back on non-fuel purchases, like those quick snacks for the road. Welcome to Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Nick Johansson with this week's top stories. The West Kelowna Warriors return to the ice on September 9th for their first regular season game since taking the RBC Cup last year as the National Junior A Champions. The Warriors raised their National Championship banner in Royal LePage Place with strong applause prior to the game against the Trail Smoke Eaters. The seven returning players from last year's team got off to a great start this season, beating the Smoke Eaters 3-1. A long-awaited bike path was opened Tuesday near UBC Okanagan, allowing safe, safe cycling access to the university from the highway. While cyclists were once forced to use a very bike-unfriendly overpass, the Bullman Road UBC Connector Bike Path allow, provides a safe alternative. The project cost $1.1 million, a million of which was provided by the federal government, while 100000 was funded by the city. Kelowna has the second highest per capita rate of bike users in Canada, making bike infrastructure improvements a no-brainer. The path will eventually connect into John Hindle Drive and Glenmore Road North, a project expected to be completed in 2018. Kelowna's Gospel Mission officially opened their new courtyard Wednesday, providing a safe space for some of Kelowna's most vulnerable population. While those needing the mission services once waited on the sidewalk on Leon Street, they now have a more welcoming space with a sense of community. Mission staff will be out in the courtyard, providing info about their services and building relationships. Staff say between 50 and 60 people have been using the courtyard daily. The Mission Creek Restoration Initiative is finally complete after years of work and $1.2 million. The initiative looked to restore the creek to its original flow pattern and biological processes to address its declining fish stocks. The final piece of the puzzle for the restoration was connecting a historic side channel back into the main stem, digging deep water refuge habitats and pools for kokanee fish, and replanting more than 600 native trees and plants. The initiative has been a joint project between all levels of government, including first, local First Nations. Yes means yes, no means no. The annual Take Back the Night rally took over the streets of downtown Kelowna Thursday night. Women, men, and children marched down the streets of Kelowna, speaking out against sexual violence and shattering the silence around sexual assault. The annual event is part of a global movement to make streets safer for women and spread awareness about the dangers women face. Organizers hope the march can empower victims of violence to take action. That's all for Castanet's Week in Review. Thanks for watching. I'm Nick Johansson.